Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alaskan Blue Jay, and welcome to Besiege. Uh, this game was popular quite a while back. Like, uh, I think even a couple of years back, at least one year. And it's just been sitting in my library for a while. This, I've actually had this one before I even, before the Alaskan Blue Jay channel was even an idea. This was just one of the very few games that ran low enough graphic settings that I could play it on my piece of crap Mac, and I just saw it sitting in my library for the first time in a while, and I was like, yeah, sure, why not? This'll be fun. Don't get an opportunity to get the old creative juices flowing very often, so we will just kind of see here. This, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a more laid-back kind of creative episode. I will do the best I can to build these machines of mass destruction. Don't tell me how to build. I will build these machines of mass destruction, and we'll see what happens. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so, uh, we're gonna want basic, like a basic framework. All I have to do is smash that building. Okay. Okay, so will this work? Whoops, that's not the right button. There we go, arrow keys. Yes! <laughs> All right, that was simple enough. These are the gimme levels, the levels where they're like, okay, you can absolutely suck at this. As long as it moves, you can win. Oh, it just saves your previous creation. That's nice. Okay, destroy that. All this that we've been seeing here is just the basic stuff. What else have we got? Oh, whoa, hello. Camera block? Pin block? Okay, they've added a lot since the last time I played this. Ah, weaponry. Okay, here we go. This is what we need. Explosive rocket, you say? Hmm. So, if I put these like so, and this like so, then can I rotate them and fire rockets at the thing? Oops. Uh, okay, that's not how that was supposed to... Oh, uh... Well, that didn't work. Okay, so the rockets do not attach to things like that, apparently. Are they supposed to be like plane rockets where you decouple them and then fire them? I bet so. Okay, so let's come up with a better idea. A smarter idea. Let's... How about if we just give it some lift and kamikaze it into the building like we did with the last one? That'll work, right? Come on. No, 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 don't tip. What are you doing? No. Oh, just, oh, I, chicken. I, I murdered a chicken. That poor chicken. It was going to grow up to be somebody's chicken McNugget someday. I just robbed it of that chance. It won't even be consumed for pleasure now. It's just a bloody splat on the ground. So how am I going to... What if we do like this? That, there, because if physics are a thing, then that should make it tip forward when I have it take off. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do this. Yep, 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 yep! <laughs> yes! Love it when a plan comes together. Next zone, that took me too long, especially considering it was a dummy level. Okay, now we have bombs. And of course, I would assume the best way to move over bombs would be to fly. Okay, I have an idea. There's a button somewhere that rotates. No. Whoops. No, 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 don't do that. Thank you. I'm glad Control z works. Okay, there it goes. Okay, it's R. There, that should work, right? That's, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work at all. I think it's got too much weight. I need to put more- probably gonna need to put more lift in the front, but we'll give it a try. That thing looks cool, at least. It looks, uh... I don't know, it looks- it looks kind of like the bat plane or something. Oh, go, go, go- oh, no! <laughs> that was- it, it was going. It was going, I was right. It needs more lift. Uh, it needs more lift in the front. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is build a thing across and a thing across that keeps the weight balanced. But then we're gonna add... If I remember correctly... You can edit... Yes, okay, we have flying speed. So... 
Ah, we can take that third one down to, let's say, half. We'll get it balanced. We'll get... Wait, that's not the one I want to be changing. This is the one we want to edit. So we're going to take that down to half. I'm burping a lot. Sorry. We're taking this one down to half lift. It will fly. It will fly, damn it. This is already decided. Up. Oh, oop. Okay. Yeah, maybe backing up would actually be a good idea. Try to get some lift before we go near the bombs. Oh, no! A sheep just suicided over there. Sheeps, no! I'm just gonna fly over the bombs. You don't have to sacrifice yourself for me. I mean, I will take the lamb chops if you want. But you, you, you don't, you don't need to, sheep. You have so much to live for. Ah! Oop. Oop. For some reason, I'm not getting any lift at all now. That's concerning. How about more wings? I feel like this definitely shouldn't help if physics are a thing, again, but you never know until you try. And then that should also tell us... Okay, we need more lift, is what I'm saying. Oh god! Oh, that's too, that's too much too much lift in the back. Again, I don't know why that keeps happening. Oh, that, ah, that's a bomb! So we'll just get rid of these. That takes a lot of the torque off, and then we'll try again. Nope! So we'll get rid of you and you, and put you and you back. This is high school physics. This is the only reason that I know that changing the position of this stuff does anything. I mean, I probably could have figured it out eventually, but actually... Bleep, wrong buttons. Actually knowing how science works helps a lot. Yes! Fuck yes! Look at this! It flies! It fl no, 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 no! <laughs> we were right there! We were right over the goal and we just went back to the start! God damn it! <laughs> up, up and away. Gently. Gent no, no, fuck. I mean, it stays pretty stable, you gotta give it that. Okay, tap, 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 and... No! <laughs> I didn't see the bomb there. Kitty Hawk, take three. Cursor, get off the screen. Oh shit, fly the plane. Fly the plane, fly the plane, fly the plane. Okay, so it kind of... it goes back and fuck. Nailed it. It, like, does the back and forth thing a lot. So the trick is to just... you you lean into it and, and like, you, you just floor it and it'll kick back and then when it sweeps forward, you kind of just tap it and it comes in for a landing. I bet I could modify that to make it steerable, and then we'd have our flying kamikaze thing that I wanted to do in the last level. Perimeter wall. Okay, so we're gonna have guys shooting at us, is what you're telling me. Okay. I want to... save this construct. We'll call it Kitty... Hawk. And then we'll have to make something completely different, probably. Unless I can make something with enough lift that I can just drop it on those guys. Interesting. Let me think on that for a sec. Because I remember when I was playing this on my laptop, I actually built a really, really good flying machine. It actually took me like a week. I had like this UFO thing that was just perfectly balanced and it would just hover there. And then I could maneuver it all over and all around. I did it with really light wood framework like that and I had it all braced and then I gave it a whole bunch of balloons for lift and fans side to side. And then after that, uh, I had decouplers with bombs on it and I could just drop the bombs. I had bombs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0 on my keyboard that I could drop. I kind of want to build that again. No, not yet. See, the thing is, okay, okay, I'm sorry I keep going back and forth, but that thing was ridiculously overpowered. I don't want to bust that out until I have to. I want to be a little bit creative, not just keep reusing stuff I've already done. We will do that eventually, though. Okay, there's a bomb over there. Can I mount a cannon on this somewhere? Okay, I have an idea. Oop. Uh, uh-oh. Uh, okay, different plan. Now, this whole plan kind of 
hinges on me being able to shoot that bomb right there and kill everybody on that wall before I get shot. If I can do that, then I should just be able to go over and kamikaze those buildings. In theory. Oh. Well, that didn't work. Bottom mounted cannon. That should go right at the bomb. And then that gives me more room to put this here like so. Yes! Okay! <laughs> Bitches be dead. And now we're gonna do so... And nope, too much front lift. Shit. Gotta compensate for that again. Easy solution. Another fan right here. Try again. Boom. Okay, dudes are dead. And now... Fly. Fl fly. Yes! Yes! Okay, wait, did I get both? I did! I killed both of them somehow. I don't know how I did that. I won't know until I watch back. Did I just crash into both of them or did some rubble hit them or something? I don't know. Oh, the Queen's Fodder. All right, I remember this one. No, overwrite. Yeah, overwrite Kitty Hawk because this one's actually better. And now we're going to scrap this. Because this level is just death and wanton destruction everywhere. That's the whole point, so... What we need is a very large thing. Okay, you know what? No, scrap it. This is- this was terrible. Restart. Okay, well, this should definitely be interesting, to say the least. We've got flamethrowers along all three of the sides that they're going to attack me from. Shrapnel cannons and normal cannons kind of interlaced with each other here, so the idea is to fire an initial cannon barrage in each direction, and then as everybody kind of crowds in, fire off all the shrapnel cannons. Or probably the flamethrowers first and let them burn, and then when the last wave gets close, then we fire the shrapnel cannons. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Cannons are C. Shrapnel cannons are also C. Well, shit, we can't have that, can we? Okay, shrapnel cannons are all, uh, X now, and flamethrowers are Y. Okay, C, X, and Y. That's all I need to know because this thing doesn't move. Okay, let's give it a try. I do not expect this to work, for the record, but let's give it a try. So... Cannons? Oh, shit. Flamethrowers. Shrapnel. That went even worse than I thought it was gonna. Uh, I forgot to brace everything, that's why that happened. Give me a second. There, now we have structural integrita. And it's time for take two of... Uh, killing everyone. Okay, didn't die that time. That's better. And shotguns at the ready. They're still not stabbing me yet. Can they not get in close enough? I feel like they can't get in close enough. Nobody in the back attacked for some reason. That's interesting. Okay, uh, I have an idea. Crossbows. Oh, but you can't have as many of them in one place. Might have to think of a workaround for that. But they each- they each fire 30 arrows, apparently, so that should be more than enough, right? Boom. Fwing. 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 Flames. Fwing. 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 Just keep shooting. Keep shooting arrows. Oh, now they're flaming arrows because I'm on fire. <laughs> oh, and they're all dying. They're all dying all around. Yes! Yes! Mmm! Yeah! This is the only weapon I've ever seen in Besiege where it actually gets more powerful by me getting set on fire. That's good to note. Because did you see that? Everybody in the background was catching on fire too, because I was shooting them with flaming arrows. Next zone. Oh, that's right. This is the, uh, this is the mover one. Alright. This, I think, is going to be a good level for making, uh, making my UFO that I was telling you guys about before. My awesome UFO. Because I actually remember that it started out as a way of beating this level. 
Because instead of, like, most people will just get, like, and try to push the rocks off and just kind of bump them gradually over into that spot. I built a flying machine so powerful that it could lift them and just fly them over there and let them go. Uh, and I used it, I did it using grabber arms, I think. The thing is, though, I also remember it, I'm, 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 I'm trying to think of its basic structure, and I remember it being a diamond. Like a diamond shape, and I don't remember how I did that. Did I just have it rotated? Oh no. Yeah, this was how I did it. Yeah, like that. It looked like this. Yeah, diamond shape. And then I had it braced. And this was the secret to that epic balance. The, 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 how amazingly well I had it balanced that I was telling you guys about. I had balloons everywhere, and I had the buoyancy on them and the balance, everything tuned just right. So that with the balloons and none of the propellers operating, it had no weight. It cancelled itself out. So you could maneuver it up and down and left and right in any way you wanted to. Okay, so we have grabbers everywhere. Don't need to be particular. Well, that's, that might weigh it down a bit, though. Okay, we should, uh, we should just put the grabbers, like, in the dead center. We'll have, like, just a patch of grabbers. Oops, that was not what I meant to do. Because now I don't have to absolutely bullseye it, but it won't weigh me down too much either. And the weight is still all evenly distributed. Please fly. Oh, it flies! Yes! Oh, God! Oh, I didn't brace it! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh. Okay, yeah, that's what happens when you don't add your braces. It just falls apart. Strong wooden beams that do not fall apart. And giving it diagonal support is also important. That's why I remember, uh, thinking that it looked like a diamond. is because we had all that. Oh, can I not... Do that? Alright, I guess this will have to suffice. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! Why is that happening? That's not supposed to happen. How are we unbalanced? Everything is perfectly symmetrical, and it still tips over. Down to nothing. F for real? I'm trying to record a video in here, can you keep your car alarm shut up? Thank you! It's okay, by the way, I'm- I'm seven floors up. They can't hear me down there. I did not actually just shout at somebody out my window. <laughs> I'm not a total asshole. Ooh, look at that! Look at that! It's not great, but it is floating, and it is slightly less tippy. I still don't know why it's tipping in the first place. Oh, it's because it's top-heavy because of the fans! Of course that's what's doing it. Okay. Well, I have a solution for that anyway, because I was gonna fix that in the first place. Get rid of the fans on the top, we can have fans on the sides, that'll help for maneuverability anyway. And have the balloons be lifting straight up instead of off to the sides. That's probably why he was tipping so much. Okay, how about this? That doesn't get off the ground, because it's not nearly buoyant enough. Of course it's not. There's not enough... things. What if I do... this... add propellers... automatic... 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 Automatic. This is gonna end badly. Ooh, not as badly as I thought. Okay, that's good, that's progress. I really, really want to get rid of that tilt to the front left. I don't know why that happens. So, to compensate for that, we can kind of get two birds with one stone here, I think, because if we drop the buoyancy of both of these guys to 1.3 instead of 1.5, there, see, that's what I'm talking about with the fine-tuning and stuff. Look at that, it's almost perfectly level. I don't know, again, I don't know why it wants to tip like it does, but that's almost perfect. All right, this is it. We, we, have, a, we have a basis for our UFO. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's perfect. 1.17 was the magic number, apparently. This is a very, very exact science. But now, at long last, it is going straight up. So now all I need to do is adjust... I need to adjust the speed on all the propellers so that they don't give it that upward pull. Oh, okay, this is 97 and it's lifting just slightly on its own. I'm trying to decide which I like better, having too much lift or not enough lift. Probably too much, I would think. But look at that. It's almost motionless. This is what I was talking about. This is what I spent so long on before. I don't have a rotating thing on this. Oh no, no, I can't control it. I can't control it, I can't control it. Uh, I don't have enough force to compensate for the curve. Ah, it's not gonna work. Ah. Okay, yep, I need to add rotation. Oh, look at that though. Look at that though, I had to retweak it, but now I've got it almost perfectly weightless. 
with 1.13 units of lift. It's moving down, but oh, so slightly. And look, see, I added rotation now. So now we can maneuver it that way. And if I ha if I wind up having to drive one of those boulders again, then I can do that. And just kind of. Oh no! Oh no! I clicked out of the game. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very delicate process. I don't need technical glitches getting into it, too. Oh, God. Oh, nope, 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 nope. She's going over. I think this is where we're going to leave it for now, because I don't really have time to, uh, to tweak it anymore, so... I'm sorry to leave you guys kind of at a cliffhanger here, but, uh, in my spare time, I will start tweaking this some more, uh, and try to figure out what it is exactly that I did with the... Uh, with the other machine that made it work so good. And once I figure it out, we'll be back for another episode of this, and we will beat this damn level. So, thank you for watching this first episode of Besiege. Feel free to chat with me in the comments. Maybe leave an idea for another video I could do in the future, and I will see you all next time. Catch you later. Oh, you're gonna score! Oh! Flawless victory! Your luck. Flawless victory. There's a really big zombie oh, behind you. Stab him with your dick sword. <laughs> <laughs>